can power on the oscilloscope, you push the power button in until it clicks. And do a self check. And turn off the self check. And push menu off. Let's talk about the scale on the oscilloscope screen. Each of the horizontal and dotted lines is a division, and the horizontal axis is time, and the vertical axis is voltage. So the volts per division are displayed here. Right now it is 10 volts, and time per division right now is 4 nanoseconds. To have a clearer view of the signal, let's adjust the scale on the oscilloscope. I'll start with the vertical scale, and I'll adjust that with these lower knobs. Notice as I'm changing the knob, the voltage per division is changing also. So I'll zoom in a bit. You can see more of what's going on. I'll also adjust the horizontal position, or horizontal scale. So now we can see a nice signal. If your signal is translating across the screen this way, you need to adjust what's called the trigger. The trigger is adjusted here, and it's indicated by an arrow on this right side of the screen. Right now the arrow is right there. So it's just the trigger downward. Notice the arrow went from upward to horizontal. And I'll adjust the trigger down until we get into our wave, which should stop that oscillation. To actually measure something like the period, we can use the cursor. I'm going to zoom in first a little bit to get a better idea of where we'll be with the cursor. And we can adjust the horizontal position to get some more resolution. I'll hit run stop to ensure that I'm just looking at the same set of data instead of a continuously streaming set of data. So to measure I can use the cursor which is indicated by this vertical line, this yellow vertical line, and adjust it. We'll put it right at the peak of that signal. To use the other cursor you hit the select button and now the two cursor lines have changed, which is dotted and which are solid, and adjust the position to the same point on the signal. That's about it. Right at the peak, right there. All right. Then our measurements are indicated over here. And you want to look at the delta, which is the change. So there's 4 millivolt difference in voltage and a 992 microsecond difference in time which tells us the period of our signal.